Hi, I wrote another little song for you to help you remember the aluminous silicates. And a lucite is low pressure, silimanite is hot, kyanite is a high pressure phase. All three can coexist at the triple point dot, theoretically. They all have the same composition, but their structures are not all the same, not the same. For it's one, two, three, alumina silicates of metamorphic fame, metamorphic fame. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the alumina silicate phase diagram. First, we show this on a pressure versus temperature diagram. Pressure increases going upward. Temperature increases to the right. How are you going to remember these? The lower part of the diagram this is andalusite. This is silimonite. And this is kyanite. So the lower part looks a little like an A for andalusite. The S forms silimonite. How are you going to remember kyanite? Well, the root kyan is the same root as the word cyan, which is that sky blue color. Sky is high, kyanite is high, maybe that can help you remember. Now they all have the same composition, Al2SiO5, but they have different structures and that means that they will exist under different pressure temperature conditions. Now along any one of these boundaries, two of the alumina silicates could coexist. So you could have, for example, andalusite and kyanite here, sulmonite and andalusite along here, kyanite and sulmonite along here. At this point, all three alumina silicates could coexist theoretically, but as Dave Pattison showed many, many years ago, there are no instances in natural rocks where all three alumina silicates are in equilibrium with each other. Now we do have rocks where all three alumina silicates are present, but they're not in equilibrium. One of them formed earlier, one formed at an, at an intermediate time, and one of them is texturally late. So theoretically, you could have all three. We just don't know any examples in nature where that occurs.